Impossible levels have evolved over the years, going from some simple straight flight to levels that require trillions of clicks. Things get pretty insane, so be sure to stick around to the end of the video. Let me take you back to 1.0. Due to the limited block choices, people couldn't really make very hard gameplay. It wasn't intended to be more than a little mobile game anyways, so the most you could make at the time was this. Yeah, not that interesting. However, things would change in update 1.2. In this version, there's a feature discovered where you can verify levels with practice mode. I'm not sure why Rob included it, but this would later be patched. However, keep this in mind. Things would all soon change though, after a very special player started creating. This is San, a player who is well known for his Hell series. These would be released in 1.4 and would blow away the community. The levels used a lot of gimmicks, such as jumping into a ball portal and using pads in the ship game mode. They were even somehow rated by Robtop, despite them being impossible for their time. However, this wouldn't last very long, as a while later, Son would get exposed. One of the biggest pieces of evidence was the fact that Son had been using the 1.2 version of the game, which was the same update where the practice mode verification could be used. After this, the levels would be unrated and left as a memory of the past. To an outsider, it might seem like 1.6 didn't bring much in terms of gameplay. After all, there wasn't even a new game mode. However, the community would pop off after this point. One of the first impossible levels in 1.6 was Ice Carbon Diablo X. The level used extremely tight ship gameplay, which was brutal to mobile players. This was also before the Steam release. A level even harder than that is Silent Club. Silent Club was on another level of revolutionary. The level name itself kickstarted the Silent Levels trend, which became one of the most popular trends for a while. Silent Club used more unique tropes than the Hell series, such as Brutal Orb Spam, Straight Fly, and Layered Orbs. With the level being so hard, it couldn't possibly be verified, right? Right? Somehow someone verified this beast, despite it being awful to play. Just look at this. Speaking of Silent Levels, this is Silent Club Step which would be heavily inspired by Silent Club. The reason for its insane difficulty was due to a pretty interesting story. While uploading the level, the creator, Salent, got his all deleted due to a bug in the hacking engine he was using. Out of frustration, he remade the whole level from scratch, which is why the first part is harder than 3 fourths of the level. Players have even tried beating it, but that wouldn't happen for a while. But this is very small compared to levels ahead. 1.9 was the first update to truly begin the impossible era of GD. Why you may ask? Well, this little triangle called the wave would change everything. The wave was incredibly hard to control back then, however it was extremely versatile, so it was only a matter of time before it would be abused. Look at Decode, the level was an insane demon back then because of this one wave part. Now it's an easy demon, players used to be pretty bad at this game. With update 2.0, there came a new feature in the editor, called triggers. These triggers could be used to move, rotate, and collide an object along with other things. However, triggers wouldn't really be used in impossible levels for now, but later in the future, they would be used to make some insane setups. Anyhow, Death Quarter is one of the most popular impossible levels that have used the wave game mode. Despite including other difficult non-wave parts, the wave parts are by far the hardest. Even though it's the hardest level so far, it would quickly be dethroned. This is Slaughterhouse. Wait, no, the other Slaughterhouse. This level was actually made by a 12 year old. I mean, it doesn't show up its original and creative game- Nah, I'm joking, this is terrible. The level is by a long shot harder than Death Corridor, making it the hardest level ever made so far. Another 2.0 impossible level is Silent Circles, which is probably the most popular impossible level to date. Despite it being another 9 circles level, this stands out, not for its decoration, but its brutal difficulty. The level is well known for its 15 to 30 clicks per second mini wave part. Yes, you need 15 to 30 clicks a second to pass this wave, which is 2 times faster a human can do. Players have attempted this level, and we've gotten some pretty crazy runs on it. However, with the arrival of the 2.1 version, things seemed desolate. It felt like impossible levels were a foreign wasteland or a ghost town. We wouldn't really get any impossible levels that would get the same amount of attention as Silent Circles or Slaughterhouse did. Z even made a rant video on it, and with all these problems, it seemed like it was gonna die eventually. But then this happened, an event that would change Geometry Dash forever. 
This is Diamond Blade, an impossible level with a ridiculously difficult wave. But what's so special about this level? Well, in June 2020, UFWM verified this somehow. This wasn't supposed to happen, as Ice Cave, the creator of the level, said it was impossible. The level would get half a million views and would make impossible levels mainstream to community again, at least for a short while. Nothing notable would happen for a bit, but then of 2020, things would begin evolving. This is a bot playing Geometry Dash. It's similar to a tool assisted speedrun you see in many games. Even though speed and no clip hacks had existed for a while, this was revolutionary. This means you can record insane runs on a level and see the true potential of difficulty. The first most popular bot would be Ybot. This bot would go on to be used by FNM04 and he would completely blow up his channel with it. And finally, after such a long time, impossible levels would start to gain momentum. Along with this, a list by name of the impossible levels list would start getting traction a month later. It was around for much longer, but it finally got the spotlight after such a long time. The list ranks levels like the demon list does, except things get absurd on this list. The first significant impossible level would be Arcturus by MaxFFs. The level would use a fairly unknown concept, by the name of Minus Wave. By using a special setup, you can get two ways on the same gravity. The concept was named after a level by the name of Minus Club, and would be used in levels like Ballistic Wistfully, Arcturus, and Wistfully. The level would also be remade to a top 1 demon, and would be verified by a top player by the name of Ultracala HD, but despite being popular in the impossible level community, so it would be fairly controversial as a top 1 level, as people felt it was lazy. Varktus wouldn't last as the hardest impossible level for long, as a level named Whistly would easily take its spot for the next 2 months. However, Whistly would be a pretty mediocre top 1. The next top 1 would be a level by the name of Singularity, the level had a pretty unique concept of getting harder every second, however, it would quickly get swapped and thrown out of its hardest hole position. However, what would happen next would be insane. A popular YouTuber named Day on Air would make a video playing the impossible levels list, which would massively grow the server once again. With this boost, it would lead to way more impossible levels being created. This would also lead to a very weird situation. This is Mew Evasion, which would claim the spot for one day. Yeah, it was pretty short-lived. The level was also just a complete clone of another impossible level, that being Joke Submission. With Wistfully still being at the top 1 spot, what level would overtake it? Many levels failed, but this one stood out. This level is... Ballistic Wistfully. Ballistic Wistfully is brutal in its gameplay as it features insane 2 player duels, fixed hitbox straight fly, meaning you can't make any movement on your ship whatsoever, and even minus waves. The level would also explode out of the impossible levels list community, reaching hundreds of thousands of views. Remember Aeon Air's video? Well, in June 2020, Nepasa would go on to make a video on the list and get half a million views. For a few months, there are no top 1s, but that's because some people were secretly working on a new top 1 project, Scaffs 2. It's a joke level that was really hated, people tried to remove it from the spot, but it kept getting updated over and over again. Eventually though, the level would be permanently removed from the list, but while that was happening, the creator of Ballistic Whistly would end up one-upping his own level. This is Cycloclic. The level features insane 2000 FPS frame perfects, meaning you have one frame to execute the jump. There's also a weird bug where you only have one frame to enter a speed portal at 11%. If you fail to get this click right, you'll die at 84% no matter what. And to add on to this, the level is 6.5 minutes long, which is absurd. It even inspired the hardest challenge in the game currently. But even though the level is top 1 on the impossible levels list, it's not the hardest level ever made. This is a silent levels list, a list with no clicks per second limitation, unlike the impossible levels list, which is capped at 15 clicks per second. There are some pretty crazy levels on this list, like Suffer. The level doesn't look too bad. Oh, never mind. But Suffer is not the hardest level on this list. The hardest level on this list is Back on Track. I'm actually being serious. This level is called Back on Track. You may be wondering though, how is this level harder than Suffer? Well, there are parts where you have to click 189,000 times per second to pass them. And somehow, the level still looks better than the levels on the main demon list. However, if you thought Back on Track would be the hardest level ever made, you'd still be wrong. This is the hardest levels list. Yeah, these list names are getting pretty repetitive. Anyhow, this is Tower, a level that needs 33 trillion clicks to complete. 
The level uses collision blocks, as mentioned earlier, and somehow stores that in them. It wasn't the first level to use counters like this, but definitely one of the most popular out there. But tower has to be the hardest level, right? Well, not even close. The hardest level ever made is Nessus. This level is absurd because it requires 537 billion clicks per second. This level even had a whole team create this, and this shows why. Also, the length of the level is insane. Look at this. This is truly the hardest level ever made. But I do have one question. What impossible levels would be verified? Find out here.